Now's top 10 moments selected and presented by Lainey. After Mao's death in 1976, the Gang of Four, including Mao's widow, competes for power but are arrested and convicted of crimes against the state. From 1977, Deng Zipang emerges as the leading figure among realists in the leadership. Under him, China undertakes far-reaching economic reforms. In June 1981, China issued its official judgment of Mao. In 1949, Mao Zedong led the Mao's areas of control grew to cover nearly 100 million people. The Red Army expanded to between 500,000 and 1 million troops within a year following Japan's surrender in 1937. When Japan invaded China in 1937, the Nationalists and Communists renewed their alliance to fight a common enemy, encouraged by Republican factions in the common turn, respectively. After more than 20 years of civil war, Mao proclaims the founding of the People's Republic of China on October 1, 1949. On October 1, 1949, Mao Zedong led the communists to victory against the nationalists and the nationalists flee out of the area. In 1958, Mao launched his Great Leap Forward, which was intended to modernize China's industrial capacity and increase agricultural production. One problem was that decisions were made for purely political rather than realistic reasons. Accidental and natural disasters and the end of economic aid from the Soviet Union worsened the situation. Many people suffered from famine. For a while, the Red Army held its own, but in 1934, Chiang unleashed his best trained units against the Jiangxi area, and the communists were forced to flee. So began the legendary Long March, a 6,000-mile fighting retreat from Jiangxi to the mountain town of Yan'an in remote northern Shaanxi province. By October 1949, the communists had chased the nationalists off the mainland to the island of Taiwan. Mao became chairman of the Chinese Communist Party, chief of state of New People's Republic of China, and chairman of the military commission that controlled the People's Liberation Army. Mao launched the Cultural Revolution to preserve communism and keep his authority and power. He launched it in 1966. A student led Mao to communism and took him to his first session. Becoming a communist led him to do all the accomplishments that he needed to do in his life in 1921.